осколки. Ракета упала в стан, и вот это влетело в деревню. As the sun rose over this Kyiv neighborhood, people woke up to the aftermath of a drone attack. Workers from the post office were busy repairing damaged windows. Those who live next to the power station that was targeted say they saw the blasts in the dead of night. I heard a drone flying overhead, then a powerful explosion. Then I saw a flash at my window, and there was a second blast. The sky was filled with thick black smoke. Local residents are shocked by what they saw, even if some suspected an attack was coming. No one can get used to that. It's winter. People are stuck with neither light or heating. It's ordinary people, not Nazis like the Russians say. In this neighborhood, like in many other neighborhoods across Kyiv, almost every business is equipped with a generator. They've become essential for shopkeepers, now grown used to power cuts happening on a daily basis. We bought it about a month ago when the mass bombardments began, so we can have lights and decent working conditions inside the shop. Alexander sells telephone accessories. Now he has to put up with the smell of petrol whenever he's at work. When the power goes out, no one knows how long it'll be before the lights come back on. We can get around the planned power cuts, but it's harder when there's a sudden blackout. We've been without power since 9 a.m. It's already been four hours. Alexander can count himself lucky. At least with a generator, he'll stay warm, whilst outside, temperatures plummet to well below freezing.